All right, everybody, we're back with the UI tutorial. If you've watched my video that was posted yesterday, I kind of broke down how you can create macros to try and kind of condense all of your abilities into one macro so that way you can switch using modifiers if you missed that video i recommend you go ahead and watch that video because it's going to be very difficult to create a minimal ui like this if you do not follow the macro video depending on the class that you're playing you might not have a ton of abilities and you can follow this just fine so go back and watch that video also i've created a tutorial on this in the past that is very similar i mean it's almost identical to this and i go really step by step throughout the ui process so if you're someone that's not very experienced with how to create a ui or you've not really messed around with add-ons in the past stop this video go check out the info box below click on my previous ui tutorial because it will work just the same and it's a lot slower pace but for today's video i'm going to go and pick it up a little bit because I've done something like this in the past, and I think a lot of people at this day and age are experienced with add-ons. So the reason I like this minimal style UI is because I prefer all of my abilities to be centered. I don't like all the extra trash and the garbage that comes with the basic UI. I want everything to be in the middle of my screen so I can focus on my omni bar, on my frames, the target ahead of me, and just my surroundings. That is what I prefer. Obviously, UIs are personal preference. It's completely up to you, but I'm getting a lot of questions about this UI, so that's why I'm making this video. So the necessary add-ons that you will need to make this UI work will be listed in the info box below. Obviously, you should download them using the Curse client or the Twitch client. That's no surprise there. I also display the add-on somewhere here on the screen, but the necessary add-ons that you're going to need are going to be dominoes. You'll need Omnibar. You'll also need a line, depending on the game that you're playing. This is not really necessary or for classic. There is a similar add-on called Pixel Perfect Align. Again, it's listed below. Optional will be Lordy UI, which creates that nice dark border that I have on my frames and on my bars. That is completely optional and up to you. I also prefer Tell Me When, which is also optional. And I'll explain why later on the video. Just go ahead and download all of these add-ons and choose the ones that you think will best fit your needs. And then I also have details here. But again, that is just, you know... A separate add-on that you don't necessarily need i like it to track damage and other things like that so if i'm losing you so far do not panic again i'm going to walk you through it step by step just go ahead and download all the add-ons listed below this is the end result what your ui will kind of look like when it's all said and done you can also see here that I have two gaps in the middle of my UI. That's when I play Destruction and I have a few other abilities that I add on to my UI. I like to leave them blank. I don't like to have filler spells, but you can have filler spells depending on your personal preference. So for the purpose of this video, I have messed up my UI and I have made it look something like what you would see if you were to log in for the first time. Do not panic. By the end of this, it will look great. Just follow me step by step. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go over to Dominoes and we're going to left click on this and it's going to enable this option here which kind of makes it so that we can move everything around we do not want for me i play with three bars you can choose as many bars as you like and how many abilities that you have i'm going to move off all the bars that i don't need i like to play with three bars total so i'm gonna move everything over here it doesn't matter where they go i'm gonna move this one off to the side because i like that bar i'm gonna move off, you know this one off to the side because i might use that one i'm gonna use this major bar i'll have my pet bar over here i know i'm gonna use this I know that I might use this and the rest of these I don't really care about. For the ones that I do not care about, I'm going to move them over here. They kind of like auto stack or auto click or stick. I'm going to now use my middle mouse button and click over the ones that aren't grayed out. When they're grayed out, it means the bars are disabled. They are no longer visible. So I'm going to make sure that they're all grayed out and not visible and they're going to stay in that corner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my bag options, my menu and bags off to the right corner, and I'm going to put or, you know, move the bars that I am going to use to the center of my screen. So uh, this one, I'm actually not going to worry about for a little bit. That's my personal preference. Don't worry about that. This one I'm going to use. This one I'm going to use this pet bar. I'll leave off to the side for now. And I'm going to use maybe one more. This one right over here. So as you can see, these bars are obviously smaller than this one. What I'm going to do is I want to size them all correctly for now. And the way that I like to do things is I like to just reduce the size, which just is the number of uh, ability or icons available or slots available, I should say. I'm going to reduce it down to nine. I'm going to make this one down to nine and this one as well down to nine. Now that they're all set at the same size, I'm going to just drag it over with my left click and they're going to stick 
just like that. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, I recommend you watch the video linked in the info box below because I go through it rather slow and it's very um, uh, fitted for beginners. But for those of you who are experienced, it shouldn't be so difficult. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this here and I always like to put my cast bar underneath my this dead space here i don't like to like smush them all at the bottom i like to make sure they're all stacked but i don't like my cast bar up at the top you can choose where you like it but i'll show you why with omnibar why i like to have it off to the bottom now what i'm going to do is i'm going to size the width of my bar to kind of fit and it fits perfect like that to fit the rest of these right here so now when I close out of this and I hit exit, you're going to see the rest of this garbage is here off the side. Don't worry about it. But now if I were to cast a spell or mount up, it's going to have this nice cast bar right underneath. And I much prefer it when compared to the basic cast bars that Blizzard provides. Now, in order to make sure that the our main abilities are centered here, is I'm going to use this pixel perfect align. You just have to click it. And once you click it, it creates this little grid line, these grid lines or these points. I just want to make sure that my middle ability, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this row is lined up in the center. All I'm going to do is once again, left click on dominoes. And I'm just going to drag it and make sure this is at the bottom. If you see, if I go too far down, it kind of smushes all the bars together. So it has a nice little padding effect there. You can just tell right when it's all perfect. And that is good for me. And now I can go ahead and probably click off this pixel perfect line. You're not going to need that. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to move my pet bar to the top where I like to see it. And I'm just going to once again, left click on dominoes and I'm going to drag it. And it's just going to stick in place for me right where I want it. And now you can see it's so easy to use. My pet bar is at the top. These bars, for example, I actually don't even really need to see these. I have them sometimes. Honestly, I usually keep a few sidebars off to the side. And you can also see that they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can have as many slots available as you like. Once again, if you just click on dominoes and you right click on this, if you right click on this, you can just adjust the size as much as you like. You can do 10, whatever, whatever you prefer. Uh, we'll just do 10. And then now what I want to do is I want to put them horizontally along the side of my screen. And the way that you do that is when you click on these, when you right click on this, you're going to adjust the column size, not the size, the number of slots, but the column size, putting it all the way to one, making it a straight line. And I'll drag it here. I'll also do the same for this one. And boom, now I have both of these stacked. Now, I don't like to see these abilities because I really do not care about these abilities. They're just there for reminders sometimes if I'm new to a class. I don't need to see them. If you want to see them off to the side, you want to put your potions, your herbalism, whatever, your grenades, your food, your consumables off to that, you can. But what I'm going to do for the sake of the video and to make it look a little bit more tidy and neat, I'm going to keep them there. But I'm going to now go back to the dominoes menu and I'm going to set the faded opacity to zero on both of these. And what this does is if I hover over them, they're still there. But if I'm not hovering over them, they're no longer there. So they're like, they're not even on my screen unless I need to see them or I need to put something on there. And I'm gonna do the same for my bag bars, right? I don't really care about, I don't need to see these all the time. So I'm just gonna right click on them and set the faded opacity to zero. And now they're hidden. And this is my details. Again, details is an optional add-on. It's my damage meter. I like to stick it in the corner of my screen. So I save as much space on my screen as possible. So now you can see we're looking pretty sharp right now. Things are looking a little bit nicer. What we're going to do is nicer a word. I think it is. It's looking better. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on dominoes and we're going to key bind now. If you're wondering how do I key bind my abilities, you're going to right click on the dominoes icon again and you can set profiles for different classes different specs it's, it's very nice and easy to do you can do a bunch of stuff with the binding show binding text if i don't want to see the bindings on my abilities that's up to you you can show macro text if you want to see it you don't have to see it if you don't want to binding text up to you you can make it look cleaner if you already can re remember or uh, recognize which ability is which key binding but we're going to bind keys right now so for the sake of this i'm going to show binding text and you're gonna click keybind and all you do is you hover over the ability and you just are gonna press the keybinding that you want it to be. So 
If you want to clear a key binding, you're going to hover over the ability with your mouse and press escape, and now it's gone. And if I want to bind the ability, I press any key that I want to be. So for me, in my life tap, it is tilde, the button next to one. I press it, and that's it. If I want to bind uh, my death coil, I would just either give it a new key binding or clear the key binding. And that's all you have to do. When you're done, you press OK. So go through your abilities and bind it with the keys that you prefer. Okay, so we're almost actually done here. It's rather simple. Uh, what I also wanna show you now is where I move my frames. The reason why I bring my frames down further is because once again, I like to have everything kind of centered in the middle of my screen so that I can focus on what's in front of me and I don't have to look up to the top of my screen over here to see what buffs or what debuffs are there or if I'm tracking with Omni CC or anything for that matter, the duration, stun durations, it's right there and I don't have to look up a little bit higher, but this is personal preference. All you have to do to move these down is just press unlock frame and you can move it around. You can bring it back to wherever you want it on your screen and then you go lock frame. This is in basic WoW UI. You don't have to do anything special for this. Anyone can do this with any add-ons or no add-ons, but I like to move them a little bit further. So I'm gonna set mine right over here. And then again, if you're wondering what this black border is, it's Lordy UI for classic. It works in any version of World of Warcraft. Tell me when, what do I use tell me when for? Tell me when will look like this. You just type in slash TMW to enable it. And what tell me when does, it's, it's not necessary, but for me, once again, if I'm playing a class and I am a healer main, I'm picking up Warlock and classic, I'm getting rather good at it. But one thing that I like to do is I like to bind major abilities here that I wanna keep track of off my UI so that if I'm doing PVP or I'm doing any form of like raiding where I need to keep track of my kicks or the cooldown of a major ability, I just like to put them in these slots and I'll show you how I do that. So you can track perhaps like any ability by just simply dragging it on to the UI. If you wanna track these major abilities, you can resize them by holding this little arrow down here and what you want to do is you always want to set show all the max both of these bars out that means it's going to be 100 percent up there all the time whether it's ready or not i like to see it when or at all times and i always press show timer text and show timer both of these options are checked and i do that for both of these that means they're always going to be there and when the ability is coming off cd there's going to be a timer text for it and then I press OK and I do slash TMW. Now, actually, I don't use these abilities, to be honest. For me, I like to track a few things. So as a warlock, I like to track my kicks, so my abilities. So I'm going to go to spell cooldown. I'm going to track devour magic. And I'm going to do the same options here. 100% on not ready, so it's always showing. Show timer, show timer text and okay. And I'm also gonna track my spell lock. So I go to spell cooldown. We can do this as always. What the track? We're gonna do spell lock, first ability. Boom, always gonna be there. And then when I wanna lock these and they're good in place, I'm gonna set them right off to the corner so they're right near my frames and next to my abilities. Somewhere here is fine for me. Slash TMW, boom. And now I always have my counter spell ready to, to go. So I know my counter spell is up or my purge is up. So I can really track those easily in PvP. That is optional. So that's what I'd use those for. You can put any ability on this little uh, tool here known as tell me when. So if you're somebody that you know is really bad at tracking your kidney shot, your cheap shot, your gouge, whatever it is, any class that you play, it's going to be there for you. So you always know when it's up or not. But that is optional once again. Now, the last thing I'm going to use is Omnibar. Omnibar works the exact same in Classic as it's worked in the past. You're just going to type in slash Omnibar, slash Omnibar. You're going to open this little menu up here. And now we're just going to check off the spells that we want to track. So by default, Omnibar is going to be in the middle of your screen. So I'm actually going to go to Omnibar. And I'm going to create a new bar for the sake of this video. Okay, it's going to look just like this when you have Omnibar working for the first time. It's going to be like that in the center of your screen. And I'm going to move it down wherever I want to track these abilities. And when I do slash Omnibar, you can check off the spell. So what does Omnibar do for those of you who are new 
to i mean classic or world of warcraft in general it just tracks enemy spells so when i'm dueling somebody and i want to know if the warriors use his pummel yet by default it's going to track all of the interrupts that classes have like physical interrupts like counter spell i should say not blanket interrupts like silence but you can track the mage counter spell you can track the warrior's pummel his shield bash by default letting you know as a caster if they've interrupted or missed their kick or you can track how long till they have their interrupt up but i like to track as many things as i can so i'd want to track my bash by chance i'd want to track uh you know freezing trap on a hunter i want to track uh the warrior's death wish if he's popped the major cooldown spell lock death coil shadow ward i'm going to check off all the abilities that i want to know if the class that i'm fighting has used so that i can better prepare myself or better play around that class during the duel but i've already done this for myself and I'm gonna like, you know, ignore the rest of the spells. And what I like to do is I like to just simply drag it to the middle of my screen. You can easily align it. You don't have to do any other options. Align it with this, put it right here. And once you've done that, once you've done that, you're good to go. All you're gonna do now is you're gonna open up Omnibar. I'm gonna delete my Omnibar too because I already have one that works. It's the same exact positioning and everything. I'm gonna delete this one. And for Omnibar one, it's gonna be right here as you can see that I've created initially. Hopefully you're following me along here. You can rewind the video if you don't get what I just did. I just deleted the Omnibar that I created for the sake of the video. And I'm going to now just lock the Omnibar. So once you've selected the spells that you want and you've centered it, I'm gonna lock it in place and a test if it's working, you're just gonna press test. Now it looks crazy here because it's activating all of the abilities. It would never look like this in a duel or any PVP scenario because not all these abilities would be going off but I'm testing it and showing you the positioning of it. So now I have my pet, my cast bar here at the bottom. I have all of my stuff, my tell me when, my frames over here, my chat off to the side. And now if I'm in a duel, I can see what abilities they've used. And I also like to hide this at the top, but you can keep, you know, just throwing that in there. If you're wondering what this reputation is, I like to track my rep. You don't have to do that, but if you wanted to get rid of it, you know, you just middle click, middle mouse button click and it gets rid of it there you don't have to show it off and that is it you guys that is my ui tutorial for classic wow i know i went through this rather quickly but i've done a similar video with the exact same add-ons in the past that video will be linked again in the info box below if you struggled following me along during this video just go ahead and reference back to that video it does it in a much slower fashion also do not forget to check out my macro video that i posted previously to this video where it explains how to kind of condense your ability so i can fit everything in a three by nine fashion you do not have to do it the way that i did you can fill it or create the sizing that you want and that would work with your class and your personal preference if you have any questions about the add-ons i use again they're all everything everything i've discussed is linked in the info box below do not forget to ask me any questions in the comment section below if you have any questions i am more than willing to help you out and set this up for you guys it is no problem at all. I enjoy helping you guys. That is my job. If you guys like this video, be sure to let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. If you guys love this video, then consider subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.